Thank you, Dr. Schramm. Congratulations to you on your first day. It is humbling and an honor to be the first person you introduced as president. I hope you are a president for a long time. And I hope that you never have to introduce another new athletic director. <laughs> As many of you in the room know, um, especially my colleagues, um, under Dr. Shrum's leadership, OSU Health Sciences has been instrumental in helping us and our student athletes during COVID. So we all had a front row seat to witness her leadership. She has transformed our medical school during her tenure there, and we're excited to see that leadership translate to all of Oklahoma State University. I'm honored to be on your team. Thank you. <clears throat> I really tried to convince everyone here that uh, we didn't need to do this today, um, that we could treat this day like yesterday and like tomorrow and just keep doing what we do every day here at OSU Athletics. But I lost that argument and probably for the right reasons. And the truth is, for me personally, this is a big deal. It's a dream come true. And like everything, in anything that happens in life that is significant, you don't get there by yourself. And that is certainly true for me. There's so many people I want to thank, but I'm just not going to be able to name everyone in the time we have here today. I'm certain they all know it, but I would like to take some time to recognize and thank some of them by name this morning. <clears throat> of course, I will start with my wife and kids, Jody, my wife, Ella, my daughter, and Grant, my son. I'm grateful for the support they give me and for always being there for me, even though I'm not always there for them. Jody and I are blessed to get to raise our kids in Stillwater and around the OSU family. One of the great things about our profession is we get to have our kids be part of our work, so you'll continue to see them with us watching the Cowboys and Cowgirls. My mom, Vina, and my dad, Mick, are also here. And as Dr. Shrum pointed out, as the son of a basketball coach born in February, I believe I attended my first game at two or three days old. So perhaps that had something to do with me wanting to be part of sports, but it was their selfless and unconditional love and the sacrifices they made for us along the way that made it possible for each of their sons to believe we could do what we wanted to do. My mom has a big family, and they are all huge sports fans. Many are here, and I appreciate all of you more than you know. Ron, Janet, Laura, Linda, Jerry Don. Thank you for your love and encouragement through the years. My brother Brett, along with my sister-in-law Christy and their kids, Jaden, who's a good basketball player like her dad, and Cash, who is on his way to being a good player like his dad. And then my nephew Cole couldn't be here, but he will be a junior here at OSU this fall. So Brett got all the athletic talent in the family, or at least most of it, and has become a great basketball coach. And because he got all the talent, I had to figure out another way to stay involved with sports, because unfortunately for me, it wasn't going to be playing. Thankfully, I had a great example and role model, my Uncle Kevin, who is here and joined by his wife, my Aunt Susan. Kevin has had a remarkable career in athletics administration. He is always someone I looked up to, probably more than he knows, and was always there for me when I had questions about the profession or career opportunity. I only hope I can be close to as good as he is, and I'm going to go ahead and thank him here in advance or any advice he is willing to give me in the future. My mother-in-law, Betty, and father-in-law, Pat, are here, along with my brother-in-law, Tony, and sister-in-law, Kelly. Thank you for welcoming me into your family like you have, loving me and supporting us. I couldn't have asked for a better family to join into. And my brother, Jared. How 
I wish he could be with us today and could hear what he would be saying. As a fellow OSU alum, I know he would be excited. We shared a love of this place. And just like I try to do every day, I hope I can make him proud. I appreciate so many of my longtime friends, some that are here today. It means so much to me, and I appreciate you. And to all my friends through the years that aren't able to be here today but have told me that they would be wearing orange today, there is nothing better. Thank you. There are others that I would like to thank for the support, advice, and opportunity they've provided me through the career, through, throughout my career. There's Dave Martin, who I believe is here somewhere today. Um, he encouraged me to apply for a position here at OSU, which I was fortunate to get and would be my first full-time job in athletics. Who would have ever thought that 22 years later he would retire and I would have the opportunity to come back to OSU and fill his position? Thank you, Dave. There's Kathy Joe Warner, Chuck Beddingfield, Dean Lee, Terry Don Phillips, Larry Shell, and Jerry Gill at the OSU Alumni Association, all people I appreciate very much. And because I was lucky enough to start at OSU, I never thought I would leave. But I'm grateful I had the chance to learn grow and gain experience elsewhere. I was welcomed with open arms into the K-State family by Ernie Barrett, Amy Renz, Coach Snyder, the Veneer family, and appreciate the opportunity the KSU Foundation, Tim Weiser, and Kurt McGuffin gave me there in Manhattan. And John Curry, Dr. Kirk Schultz, who allowed me to grow in this profession. And so many colleagues that are either still there or have gone on to other places like Laird Beach and Scott Garrett, but all doing great things. And of course, the many great supporters of K-State that I got to know and get to still call friends today. Thank you. Kirby Hoka, who took a chance on me to see if I could do things outside of fundraising and development. We enjoyed our time in Lubbock, and I appreciate Kirby more than I can say for giving me that opportunity. It was a much shorter stay than we imagined it would be, but we have colleagues and friends there that make it feel like it was much longer than that and will last forever. To former President Hargis and first cowgirl Ann, and all of the Board of Regents, Rick Davis, Joe Hall, who are here, thank you for your confidence in me. Thank you for your leadership and all that you have done and continue to do for this university. And last but certainly not least, thank you to Robbie and Coach Holder. Coach, with Robbie by your side, Thank you for everything you have done for our alma mater. You have taken this entire athletics department to a place no one but you and Mr. Pickens thought possible. There is not an athletics program here that isn't infinitely better because of your leadership as AD these last 16 years. Everywhere you look, you can see the spectacular results of your tireless efforts on behalf of the Cowboys and Cowgirls that you love so much and have for over 50 years. And that is just the things you can see, but is also in the places you don't see. Through your example and your actions, you have inspired us to think bigger, dream bigger, and demand more of ourselves than we thought possible. That is the legacy that you leave us and the responsibility that we have to carry forward. Thank you, Coach, for all you have done for our student athletes, our coaches, and our fans. And thank you for all you've done for me. I'm forever grateful. As I mentioned, this is a big deal to me, a dream come true. I've been fortunate to have been here for four years now and get reacquainted with and meet so many great people to work with the coaches, staff, and campus leaders, 
and there are so many good things happening here, highlighted by the team's success of this year amid the backdrop of COVID. Every single one of our teams participated in NCAA postseason play. Through the winter sports, OSU was ranked 20th out of over 300 schools in the Learfield Cup, which measures performance across the department. I believe the spring sports will be added and released tomorrow, and I expect we will be even better. I point that out not to brag or take any credit, but simply to say that I've been fortunate to be part of good things with good people over the last four years here. So today we turn a page of sorts, start a new chapter perhaps, but it's the same book. And together we get to keep writing our story, to keep going, to press forward, to expect and believe that our best days still lie ahead. I'm the one up here talking, but this is not about me, and it will never be about me. This is about, first and foremost, our student athletes. Our former student athletes, the current student athletes that are proudly representing this institution all over the world, they are our true north and the future athletes still to come. This is about the coaches, many that are here. And I appreciate them very much. Like my dad, they are incredible teachers of a game, but also of leadership and life. It is a privilege to work alongside them and get to watch them teach and mentor these young people. This is about our staff, the incredibly skilled and dedicated individuals that come to work every day and share their ideas and their talents to make OSU athletics as good as we can be. And this is about our alumni, donors, and fans who proudly wear orange give of their time, their passion, and the resources to support the Cowboys and Cowgirls and do it because they believe in and are proud of what we do and how we do it. There is, no doubt, a lot of change taking place that is not just here on our campus, but throughout college athletics with continued COVID protocols, name, image, and likeness, transfer rules, and possible expanded playoffs. So it is more important than ever that we innovate to take on the challenges of our time and to seize the opportunities. But in doing so, we must never lose sight of our true north, the talented, smart, courageous young people in our programs, our student athletes. That is how there are 52 NCAA national championship banners hanging in this arena, and that is how we will hang more. We take seriously our role and responsibilities to work with you, President Trump, for the good of the entire institution. With the unique platform we have, we want to help shine a bright orange light on all the great things that you will take, that will take place here at Oklahoma State University under your leadership. We look forward to working with you as we continue to educate and prepare the next generation of leaders. To close, again, thank you to my family Thanks to everyone that is here and to everyone who has called or sent emails. I wouldn't be here without you, and I hope you know that. I'm very humbled and grateful for this opportunity. Again, thank you, wear it orange, and go Pokes.